What's up guys, Deceiver here, and as you guys know, I have been playing a ton of Resident Evil lately. It is one of my favorite franchises of all time. I have played a lot of the games. Not every single one of them, but a lot of them. I even have the umbrella symbol tattooed on my elbow with zombies inside of the actual, um, the actual symbol. I love this game so much I have it tattooed on me. And... <clears throat> this game has been a big part of my life ever since I was a kid uh, playing Resident Evil 1. So we're going to go through a list, a tier list rather, of all of the Resident Evil games. Uh, because to be honest, I'm kind of running out of uh, ideas for content. So until I come up with something new, tier lists are my go-to thing. I've done other tier lists in the, in the past on uh, different subjects and topics mostly on like dead by daylight stuff so if you guys are into tier lists check those out but yeah let's go ahead and get into it i will only be ranking the games that i have actually played i will not be ranking any of the resident evil games that i have not yet actually played or have no idea what the hell they are because there are a lot of them that are just weird and i just haven't played them so resident evil 1 obviously this is where it all started in the mansion yeah so where do we put this now for the sake of gameplay <clears throat> and everything it's hard to rank an old game um, but for the sake of this kicking everything off I'm gonna put it a solid A um, for its time it was very fun it was scary um, and yeah it started the whole franchise like I said like six times already this is, um, you have to respect the game. Even if it's not good by today's standards, it is, you know, it's the OG. Now Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 2, back in the day, was probably the best one as far as gameplay, story, and everything. So I have to put it in the A tier, even above Resident Evil 1. Uh, Resident Evil 2 was disgustingly good. Uh, same thing with Resident Evil 3. Back in the day, this was probably my favorite one. Resident Evil 2 was better, but Resident Evil 3 was my favorite one to actually play. Um, and when I was a kid, I obviously played it on easy mode, so I started out with like the machine guns and shit. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, back then it was scary, and I don't even know if I actually was able to get through all of it, because I was so young when I played Resident Evil 3 and 2 and 1. I think I was maybe like 6 years old, 7 years old, something like that when I was playing these. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have been playing them in the first place. But yeah, I think I'm pretty... Uh, yeah, I actually want Nemesis above Resident Evil 1. Although it started the series, it was definitely not the best uh, as far as gameplay. Um, Resident Evil Survivor I have not actually touched, so we're going to throw that to the bottom. Resident Evil Code Veronica X was one of my favorites. Uh, a lot of people didn't like it, but it was definitely one that I liked. Uh, the thing that killed it for me was Steve. <laughs> Steve was just super annoying. Like, uh, just everything about that character was just dumb. I like the location of the game, but I think I'm comfortable with it in the high B tier for Resident Evil. Uh, Resident Evil Survivor 2, I had never played it, so I'm going to put that down. Resident Evil Gaiden, never played it. Resident Evil Semi Remake, um, I think this was the GameCube remake. I played it briefly, but it was the same story and everything else as Resident Evil 1. So, um, for the fact that it had better graphics, but it wasn't it wasn't as nostalgic because it wasn't brand new, I'm going to put it down here, eh, I think it deserves B actually, B tier, because it was decent, it just wasn't the best. Resident Evil 0. I beat Resident Evil Zero when I, I think I was either a preteen or a teenager on GameCube. I played this game. And I actually liked it more than a lot of people did. And for that reason, I'm going to put it in the B tier. I don't know why a lot of people didn't like it, but I personally did. Resident Evil Outbreak was so much fun. I fucking loved it. Actually, I'm going to move some of these down. Uh, Resident Evil Remake, I'm going to move down just because same story as everything as the first one just a graphic update basically and the gameplay was a little bit better but anyway 
Resident Evil Outbreak was actually super fun. And Resident Evil Outbreak 2 was just as fun as Resident Evil Outbreak. I actually liked 2 a little bit more. So I'm going to put these ones right in the B tier. I loved everything about these two games. Um, yeah, I can't say anything more. Uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim or whatever the fuck that is, that shouldn't even count as a Resident Evil game. Like, that's going down there. Resident Evil 4. Now this game, this game changed everything about Resident Evil. This was, in my opinion, the best Resident Evil game, period. S tier. Resident Evil 4 was so good for its time. Well, I remember... <clears throat> quick story time if you guys want to skip this I don't blame you but I remember asking my mom for this game I think it was like 13 or 14 years old maybe and I saw a commercial for it and every time I saw that commercial I was so hype I never wanted anything more in my life than Resident Evil 4 and she told me no then one day she saw that how bad I wanted it and she just came she came home with it she found it on sale it was only like a week after release and she somehow found it on sale and I had a blast with this game for months the mercenaries mode everything replaying the story best Resident Evil by far uh, I don't even know what the fuck this is Freddy Krueger Resident Evil or something um, what is this Resident Evil something else I've never played that one either Resident Evil 5 I personally did not like Resident Evil 5 I did not like the uh, atmosphere the gameplay was fine it felt similar to Resident Evil 4 but not um, the the story was just not as good I didn't like the new virus that they had and for that reason I'm gonna put it in the high C tier I think that's where it belongs uh, for me personally again this whole tier list every tier list I ever make is always gonna be personal opinion so if you guys disagree that's fine <clears throat> but Resident Evil 4 uh, 5 I do not feel like it was that fun for me personally however it was I believe the first co-op Resident Evil so that being the case it does get the higher rank uh, I don't know what that is. Resident Evil Revelations. I never liked these games. I'm going to put both of them in the C tier. I didn't like either of them because it just felt so far off from Resident Evil to me, personally. And I really love that Resident Evil franchise, so it just felt weird. Uh, I didn't I didn't even finish either of them. I tried both of them and didn't finish either of them. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe my mind would be changed if I did finish them, but I doubt it. Um, Resident Evil Operation Ra Raccoon City. I actually really had fun with this game, but it was not the best designed game. Uh, playing it with your friends was a whole lot of fun, killing zombies and everything. I kind of wish they had something like this again, but for the sake of the fact that I had fun with it, um, it goes in the C, but the, for the fact that it was just not a well designed game, it's going in the C. <laughs> so. Resident Evil 6. I don't know why people shit on it so much, to be honest. I really enjoyed Resident Evil 6. Um, I don't think it's up here by any means, um, but I think it was great. Like, I think it was top of B tier great, um, as far as gameplay wise, anyway. The story was a little weird, and <clears throat> but you gotta think of the fact that they gave you so much content on release. Because they gave you three different characters to go through the story with and on top of that you could play with a friend and they gave you mercenaries at the end it had a decent amount of content and I really liked it and the graphics weren't that bad they're not even that bad to for today's standards to be honest um, Resident Evil Biohazard uh, which was Resident Evil 7 I this didn't feel like a Resident Evil game to me it felt like something completely different and for that reason, I hated it. People are going to slam me for that decision, but I really hated Resident Evil uh, 7. Only because of the fact that it's, in my opinion, not a Resident Evil game. The game itself, if it had a different name, and it branded as something besides Resident Evil, it would be probably pretty good. But because the story is actually really good and it had some really scary parts in it but the actual combat fighting those stupid mud things over and over was just terrible just everything about the fighting in it was just god awful 
and again it just doesn't feel like an RE game to me. Resident Evil 2 Remake, hell yeah, S tier. Resident Evil 2 Remake was superb. I can't say anything better about it to be honest and I, I'm, yeah I'm happy with putting it in the S tier. I think that's where it belongs, not above Resident Evil 4, but yeah in the S tier right below it. <clears throat> Now I just recently finished this one, Resident Evil 3 Remake. The graphics in this game are gorgeous. They were good in Resident Evil 2 as well, but the graphics and the dialogue and the characters were great. The game was just too short. That's That was my only gripe with it, it was just too short. Um, and they could have added a lot more to it. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in the high A tier, right there next to its brother. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, Nemesis, so I think they belong together in the high A tier. This would probably have a higher rating, probably up in the S tier, if it was longer and had more content. Now, this game, you guys know I love this game. I really want to put it here. I want to put it in S tier because I fucking love it. Um, but I can't. It's still missing too much stuff. It's missing content for one but it's also missing the fact that it's not a standalone game and it's bundled with Resident Evil 3 still that for me brings it down probably right there with Resident Evil 3 yeah it's unfortunate but that's where it belongs for now but I absolutely love the game as far as a multiplayer Resident Evil game goes because it's honestly the only one other than uh, Outbreak that has been made yet that I can think of. There's co-op Resident Evils, but this is the only like online multiplayer one that I believe they have. Uh, I can't say anything for these ones down here because I don't know anything about these games uh, <clears throat> other than that, that they exist. I never bothered to play any of them. Um, let's see, is there anything that I would want to move in this tier list? Um, you know what? Hmm. Raccoon City probably needs to go down here because it somewhat didn't feel like a Resident Evil game either, just kind of like a zombie shooter. But it did have a lot of like references to Resident Evil. Uh, no, I can't, I still want it right here, probably below the Resident Evil remake though. I think I feel pretty comfortable about the tier list being right here. So these two being the absolute best Resident Evil games for what they were and staying true to the lore for the most part, except for Resident Evil 4. Um, it wasn't really zombies, but it did feel like a Resident Evil game and the gameplay was just, it was a game changer for its time, so it was great. Resident Evil 2 Remake, probably the best that stays true to the Raccoon City stories. Resident Evil 2, probably the best old version of Resident Evil. Um, Resistance, best multiplayer version, and I, I just love the game. Resident Evil 3, great, fantastic, kind of average, but still good. Resident Evil 3, probably second best for the old ones. Resident Evil 1, kicks things off. Resident Evil 6, underrated in my opinion, same with Outbreak. Uh, Code Veronica X, also underrated in my opinion. Resident Evil 0, you know what, I could almost bring this down one. I think I'm going to actually. It wasn't as good as I as I remember, um, but it was still fun. The characters are what kind of killed it <laughs> more than anything. Uh, Resident Evil 5, I just didn't like the game plain and simple. And yeah, I'm going to stick by this one right here. So this is the uh, tier list that I'm going with. If you guys disagree, tell me your thoughts in, in the uh, comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Like the video, comment, subscribe, check me out at twitch.tv slash the Game. There are some other videos for you to check out. I'll see you next time.